when the well is dry, we know the worth of water, said Benjamin Franklin. Since times immemorial, village tanks have been one of the most important water resources and a lifeline for the rural communities. Not only the agricultural communities depend on it, but also the fishermen, potters, toddy tappers, pastoralists, fruit gatherers, and all other artisan communities directly benefit from the tank system. A tank is a village water resource formed by constructing an earthen bund across a shallow valley to impound the rainwater runoff from its catchment area. The Telangana region has a rich heritage of cultivation and irrigation dating back to several centuries. During the Kakatiya era, the constructions of tanks were carried out with utmost technical expertise. Tanks such as Ramappa, Pakhal, Laknavaram and Bayaram, which were built by Kakatiyas during the 12th and 13th centuries, resembled seas and they greatly helped agriculture and overall development and prosperity of the Kakatiya kingdom. The tank system has different functions like irrigated agriculture, soil and water conservation, flood control, drought mitigation, livestock, domestic uses, recharge of groundwater and protection of the environment. However, this practice had been discontinued over the past 60 years, resulting in the siltation of the tanks, reducing water holding capacity and ultimately rendering this once carefully planned system less effective. During this period, the Telangana region lost as much as 2.92 lakh hectares of tank irrigation. With a geographical area of 1,14,840 square kilometers and the population of 3.52 crore as per 2011 census, Telangana is the 12th largest state in the country in terms of both area and population. According to a study by Socio-Economic Outlook 2015, about 56% of the state's workforce is directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture for a livelihood, and about 86% of the land holdings belong to small and marginal farmers. The government of Telangana state, and in particular the Honorable Chief Minister and Minister for Irrigation, have been the prime motivators for the project. No sooner did the Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana State, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, take charge, he announced this massive program of restoration of 46,531 minor irrigation sources with an irrigation potential of 25 lakh acres. Out of this, only 37% is irrigated, presently leaving a gap of 63% of irrigation potential. Telangana state has a history of conservation and efficient use of water resources since the reign of Kakatiyas and hence the name for the initiative Mission Kakatiya. Survey Jainch, Engineer and Urkul Pagla Betinchi, Motam Vivaral Depiskunum, Poine Vini, Mil Navatalo Nalpayar Vela Chilla Cherul Nai, E Nalpayar Vela Cheruru, Kachitanga Motam Purika Bavale, Katalani Bandavas Gavale. Matal Tumlani Bandavas Gavale, Panta Karval would a Manchi Gavale, Oka Samatra and Kalamete, Mudela Daka Karu Manadiku Maris Wuradu. The slogan Mission Kakatiya, led by Honorable Minister for Irrigation Sri T. Hari Shrao, immediately caught the imagination of the people of Telangana State, which led to a massive participation in the program by all sections of people. Soon the plan was chalked out with the top engineers of the state along with other stakeholders to restore all water bodies so as to bring the gap I cut into irrigation through the following steps by desilting the tank beds to restore original water storage capacity by repairing damaged and collapsed sluices redesigning and reconstruction of the damaged weirs redesigning of the tank buns to their original standards as they have deteriorated due to the jungle growth on the slopes, damaged stone revetment and seepages through the buns among others. By resectioning of the irrigation channels to arrest the uncontrolled seepage of water for smooth distribution to the fields located in the tail end areas. By protecting tank submergence lands from encroachments. By supporting the tank based livelihoods by increasing productivity and profitability of agriculture, horticulture, fisheries and livestock. 
Even as the desiltation is one of the main activities of the tank restoration, farmers are encouraged to lift the silt after being tested by the Department of Agriculture for its suitability to apply in the agriculture fields. Application of silt in the fields enhances water retention capacity of the soil and reduces the usage of the chemical fertilizers. As per the study conducted by ICRISAT in Varangal district, the application of silt resulted in savings on fertilizers and pesticides ranging from 2,500 to 3,750 rupees per hectare in case of cotton. An increase in the yield of cotton was to a tune of 1,000 kilograms per hectare. As part of the plan, the government has planned to restore 9,306 tanks every year, with an eventual target of restoring all 46,531 tanks in five years in a phased manner. During 2014-15, as part of the Phase 1, about 9,000 tanks have been successfully restored. The benefits due to this restoration have also been observed. The forest department has played a supporting role by planting trees with an income potential along the buns of the tanks such as silver oak and toddy. The revenue department has closely worked with various stakeholders by undertaking clear marking of foreshore lands along the tanks. The groundwater department has conducted independent research on various impacts of the initiative. A dedicated website for the project has been created to ensure transparency. <laughs> The Indian Remote Sensing Satellite has been leveraged to develop a geo-database of tanks across the state. A help desk has also been created for the people to complain or get their queries addressed. Once a tank has been identified for rejuvenation, all the details pertaining to the project such as financial information, repairs, quantity of silt to be removed are prominently displayed on the boards. Apart from monitoring the implementation of the project through the web portal, a weekly video conference is conducted by the Honorable Minister Harish Rao to personally monitor the progress of the works. If any individual or an organization wants to contribute to the mission, they can do so by registering on the official Mission Kakatiya website. A lot of people have poured in funds or adopted tanks in their villages. It has now become a people's mission. Tax exemption is being given for the donations made by NRIs. We would like to use this opportunity to show this work in our village as a model for all other villages. To see the quantity of work, the quality of work that is going on here. The success of this mission has become a case study for many organizations like IITs, BITS, NABARD, University of Chicago and Michigan University among others. This is probably the first of its kind initiative in the country that attempts to integrate different aspects such as livelihoods, food security, cultural, environmental, technological, institutional and climate resilient components into a single mission. In a few years from now, with the restoration of all 46,531 tanks to their past glory, the tanks will soon be the lifeline of Telangana state, thus empowering the rural economy and the lives of millions of people.